Hello golfers and welcome to Course Hopping. On today's episode, we feature the Mantis by Eric Nesbitt. The Mantis is located in Lake Marion, South Carolina, and it is full of lush fairways, thick rust, cleanly mown edges on all the playable surfaces, and pristinely contoured bunkers. Golfers will find themselves battling their concentration often as it's easy to get lost in the beautiful, natural setting of the course while it wanders around the small ponds and streams being fed by Lake Marion and scattered with the yellow jasmine that South Carolina claims as its state flower. There are three tees, the back tee being known as the Praying Mantis setup, will definitely test everyone on the course. Let's head out to the course now and take a look at some of the holes. We begin on hole number one and you can instantly see why this course is so stunning and beautiful. The first hole is a 629 yard par five and it is a long one to start your round off. As you can see, the fairway is nice and wavy and it rolls around uh, the contouring of the land. We've got a little waste area with some rocks here as we head up to the green. And so let's take a look at the best way to play this first hole. Take a drive right down the middle of the center of the fairway. Uh, try to cut off as much of it as you possibly can. Into your second shot, we'll have a wood to get as close up here to the around the tree. You want to make sure you are not behind that tree for your second shot. And that'll leave a nice little pitch shot for your third up to the green. And of course, once you get to the green, your goal is to try and one putt. And that's exactly what happens here as we birdie the beginning hole on the Mantis. All right, we move to the finishing hole on the front nine now, a par three, hole number nine, 178 yards, beautiful lake in the background, framed in, fantastic. Let's take a look at the best way to play this hole. Your tee shot needs to be a little bit uh, up in the air is to want to stop this right where the pin placement is, depending on where the pin placement is. You get a nice little roll down the hill, and you can't get better than that. So hole nine is a beautiful, beautiful hole. A chance for birdie back up the hill here, which is exactly what you're looking for, and we sink it. As we begin the back nine, hole number 10 is a fantastic, long 644 yard par five with the lake and stream going down the left side. As you can see, it partitions the fairway from right to left. This is a challenging hole uh, for the purposes of placing your tee shot perfectly and having a chance uh, for a good third shot in to this very nice eight-shaped green. Let's take a look here as we drive the golf ball down the center of the fairway here. You can see as you get set up for your second shot with the Masters Clubs, you can uh, lay up short down the right side or lay up short down the left side. We'll go ahead and take it down the left side and give yourself a nice little pitch shot in to the green here. This is the perfect way to play this hole. So as the second shot comes to a rest, let's see how we can get on with the very Simple pitch shot up towards the pin. And that's exactly what we're looking for. Leave yourself uh, within 10 to 12 feet. Could have been a lot better there as the green slopes away. But uh, we'll put this in there for the bird. We move now to the picturesque 13th, which is a 168 yard par three with a beautiful backdrop in behind the green. We have an L-shaped green here with the rocks in the lake to the right. Let's see how we get on with this hole. All right, the first shot way up in the air. Sky that iron and just hit right in front of the flag. Let it hit nice and soft and we will take that. It gives our chance for yet another bird on the 13th. Number 15 is another beautiful par three. It stands at 205 yards as we head back towards the lake now. And uh, beautiful bunkering there on the side. We have a wraparound green. And so let's see how we get on with this par three. All right, for your first shot, this one's playing 217 currently. Just want to play this out to the right. Did not get a very good shot here. 
uh, in between clubs, and if you hit it short there to the right, it is going to funnel down towards the right side and leave a pretty lengthy birdie putt, but it is on the putting surface. All right, can we convert the birdie? The putt is just a little bit too strong, and down the hill it goes. You can see you want to be very careful uh, with your second putt, or your first putt, excuse me. Now the second putt back up the hill. Can we sink it? And we can for the par. Hole 16 is a dog leg to the right, standing at 458 yards. It is a par four, and as you can see, with the trees on the right side, it will be very difficult to try and cut that corner. So this will be a true dog leg to the right. You see the beautiful home and clubhouse area uh, to the back side of hole 16 there. All right, so with that being said, let's see how we get on with this hole. You can see there is a chance to cut the corner if you can avoid the trees, but I was unable to do so. Did try it there for you guys to show you, and I am standing in the heavy rough. This leaves a very difficult shot up to an uphill green, and so I blade it out of the grass and down the hill it goes for a very difficult chip shot, pitch shot back up to an elevated green. Do have a pretty good shot there. It is going to roll just past the pin. And now we have a chance for par. So not the greatest way to play this hole, as you can see. So there is some danger uh, here with this hole, but we are able to save the par. The finishing hole at the Mantis is a 566 yard par five. And once again, the stream uh, does separate the fairway from right side to left. Although this time you will have to stay down the right side unless you're going to try to go for the green in two. The green is protected in the back with the waterfall down into the little tiny pond with bunkers all around and yet another L-shaped green. Let's see how we get on the finishing hole. The first shot will just be a three wood for me down the center here. So we have an easy opening to get through to get to the green here in two. Although we're not going to get there in two with the three wood off the tee. So two wood off the tee. <clears throat> two wood off of the fairway if we hit this little tiny piece of uh, entrance area to uh, the green it's going to give ourselves a nice little chip up for our third and this chip was not good at all it is going to speed right by the hole and leaves ourselves a very difficult putt for the bird and it is unsuccessful and we will end up with a par and that will wrap up our play of the Mantis by Eric Nesbitt. And what a fantastic major competition course this was. It was not a winner, but it is still one of my favorite courses uh, that I have played on this game. Um, really enjoy playing Eric's course. If you have not had a chance to get out and uh, experience this course for yourself, definitely look it up. Give yourself a go with it. It's great to play for a challenging uh, situation, and it's also really fun to play with some guys in an alt shot format. So once again, go out, enjoy a round with the Mantis.